Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Katrina and today I am going to be showing you how to remove sublimation from your mugs. We all know that we pay a lot of money for these mugs. So if you make a mistake and you cannot figure how to get it off, I got you today. I am going to be showing you how I jacked up two of my mugs, actually three. And as you can see, it's patchy, it's light, it's faded. The color of the girl's skin is normally darker, but for whatever the reason, I had to take out my ink and had to put it back. And I didn't look at my mugs and I noticed that they came out too light. I did it a second time and it still came out too light. So I am going to use apple cider vinegar and then I'm going to use white vinegar and I'm going to see and pray and hope that this comes out i've seen someone do it on water slide i've done it on water slide works like a charm so today we're gonna see if it works on sublimation ink sublimation ink is supposed to be permanent but we're gonna hope that this organic well actually i'm not using organic i use that on the water slide this one is just regular apple cider vinegar i'm just gonna submerge one of the mugs in the apple cider vinegar i'm gonna make sure it's fully submerged so make sure that you get a bowl that or something that you can put it in where you can pour enough vinegar in it so that way all of your print your image is completely submerged it needs to stay in there for at least 30 minutes actually mine took a little bit longer so i'll talk about that later but we're going to let it stay in for at least 30 minutes fully submerged then i'm going to take my other image and i'm going to put that in the the white vinegar i just want to see which one works best and you're going to see firsthand as well and i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to submerge this one completely in the white vinegar so i will come back stay tuned and we will see how this goes now this is the third image that i talked about if this works i'll do it again but if it doesn't work i've seen someone else use a burn method and i'm scared to do that but if this does not work then I'll have to use the third option, which is try to burn the image off. Either way, we're going to get these images off or we're going to get these clear. Then at the end, I'm going to show you if you can resupplement the mug. So you definitely want to stay tuned for that if you want to find out if you can resupplement your mugs after you've taken off your supplemented images. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you're at all interested in Shopify, Etsy, entrepreneurship, and behind the scenes of growing your own business or brand. Now, let's see if this works. Fingers crossed. just see if this works scrub oh look at that okay so it is definitely going to come off it just needs a little bit more time all right so let's put it back in there that's the apple cider vinegar let's check the white vinegar let me come on this side Like I said, it's only been 20 minutes. So let's see how the white vinegar does. Okay, so it's coming off as well. So definitely have to let it sit a little bit more. Just rubbing it to help it out some. We'll let that sit a little bit more and we should be good to go. I'm just gonna scrub this one a little bit more to loosen it up some. Help it out, move it along. Get the ink moving. So I'm going to speed this up because this did take a while. 
they sat in the bowls for another 30 minutes and now I'm just rechecking them and it's actually coming off just a little bit so I'm you know I'm gonna put it right back in the mug I'm checking the one with the apple cider vinegar nothing is coming off so I'm gonna put that back in so I'm gonna let them both sit for another 30 minutes here we go checking again and now we're finally getting somewhere so it's been about a pretty much a good hour and I'm finally getting somewhere I'm scraping it but I am using a lot of pressure to scrape and scrub and get the ink off the longer you let it sit it will eventually fall off on its own but I'm trying to get it done as fast as possible so I'm helping it and I am just scraping it and I'm putting the scrunchy scrunchy scraper back into the apple cider vinegar as well keeping it moist and wet the entire time while I am scrubbing so finally, after about a good hour and a half of me scrubbing and keeping it submerged in the white vinegar, it is completely gone. All of the sublimation ink has been removed using the scraper and using the pure white vinegar. It took a lot of elbow grease, but as you see, everything is gone from the cup. Now the one with the apple cider vinegar, this one was giving me a little bit more trouble. At this point, I was tired of scrubbing, so I just decided to let it sit even longer. Okay, so this is the Okay, so this is the third image. Remember I had three cups to start. I said I was going to burn one, but that's the third image. I just went ahead and put it in that one. This is the cup completely dried, wash it off. So as you can see that this cup is not completely white right there. Now this is tan. So whatever image I put on here needs to be bigger than this to hide that uh, yeah so I'm not happy about that I'm happy that I got the image off of course so you know you can just see the transition from from when I from where I scrubbed that to the white so I'm pretty sure that the glaze or the sublimation coating is not on here no more like this is glossy it still looks glossy but I'm going to try. I'm going to sublimate it just to see if it'll work. And I'll show you if you can still sublimate after you use the white vinegar. So I just want to see how it would look. Uh, this is going to my, this is going to some sorority sisters. And I'm going to show you what the cup is supposed to look like, the finished cup, because they look beautiful. But of course, now I'm behind schedule because... I messed up three mugs, three mugs. Okay, so I'm gonna let these sit for um, an hour or so. So that way, this one has already been submerged for an hour, but I'm tired of scrubbing. So I'm gonna let that sit for a little while longer. And then I'll let this one sit for an hour. So now let's go and see if we can sublimate this. If not, I'll have to do water slide. So these are the mugs after they were sublimated, after they were done. See how beautiful and vibrant the girl is. This is going to a sorority. So this was the mug that I scraped off. You can see it's still a little piece of like, maybe just a tip of the black right there. But again, I'm gonna be putting an image on it to cover it up. Um, I can still see it a little bit faded, the transition. I don't know if you can, you can kind of see it right there from like where I was scraping to the part where I wasn't scraping. So that's what I'm concerned about. So I am going to try, you can see, there you go, the hairline from where I was scraping to where I wasn't scraping. So, so this is the image, you know, of course it's reversed. Um, it's flipped horizontally because it's sublimated. Let me move this one out the way. So I am going to see if I can resupplement it on here, I say a sub paper. Um, I'm nervous because I don't want to. If I mess up this mug, then I'm gonna have to. Then I'm gonna have to redip it all over again if anything comes on it. But that way, at least I'll know. I'll know, and and you all will know. So worst case, worse worst case scenario is I do have two other mugs, and if it doesn't work. Then I have my, da, 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 da. I have my water slide decals ready to go. I always have to print out like two. Now these are some other images I'm gonna do, but this is the image that I need. And I have, of course, some backup because I'm not like, 
a pro yet at the water slide decal. So sometimes it messes up. So I just have extra just in case. And if I and if I do do water slide anymore on my other mugs, because I do have Dollar Tree mugs as well, then I can always use the image and just cut out the name. I didn't do the precise cut because it takes too long. And because I do the pearls and beads around, you can't really see the edges. So, but I don't think I'm going to use the name anyway. I think I'm going to use the name in my Oracle 651 because I didn't like the way my names came out on some other mugs that I did for the first time using the water slide because you can really see the edges. So let's get started and let's see if I can resupplement the mug after using the vinegar. Hey, don't mind all my junk. Okay, so I got my mug press. Um, I have my mug press on at like 402 because this mug press just fluctuates. The temperature, like you see how it's going, it's just constantly fluctuating. So, but I've never had no issues with it. So I'm going to let this press for maybe four minutes. Normally I'll let it press anywhere from two and a half to three, but because I actually, um, because I actually, you know, scrubbed it and I want to see and give it a fair chance, I'm going to let this press for exactly four minutes to see what happens. So we got four minutes on the clock and y'all see how my temperature jump drops down all the way to 346. Now it climbs up until it heats back up to 400. So I'll let that get all the way back up to 400. And then I'm going to let this press for four minutes to see if it will resupplement. Okay, it has been four minutes. Ooh, look at that smoke. Hot. Okay, I see something through the paper. Let's see. Ooh, I don't know what's going on. I see something double. I am so scared, y'all. I don't know what just happened. I have never seen it look like that. Can y'all see how the image is doubled? Let me cut the light off. So y'all see that? Yeah, let's keep the light off so you can see better. Okay, so i never seen it like that. Whoa. No, you cannot re-sublimate at all at all okay so everything was gone off so now i gotta stick this back in the apple cider vinegar actually that came off and that did so why did that you know i guess i moved it over a little bit this is hot so i'll make sure i don't touch let me cut this off so I'm wondering how to like parts of that sublimate it. Maybe that was in a different area. Okay, so yeah, so like the name was I guess about right here before. Maybe it was just shifted, it wasn't in the exact same spot. So I tried. So now you all know that you can't resupplement after you use the oil and vinegar. So now there is a glaze. Yes, there is a glaze. This is hot. There's a glaze that you can buy on Amazon, but I didn't have the glaze and I didn't want to spend $30 on a bottle. So now I am just going to use my water side decal and it will hopefully look exactly the same. So this is the image of that one. I'm just sitting at there for right now, but um, I came back and I actually scrubbed off the other one that was on this side. And I had to put it back in there just for like some more little spots. So I just got to get that off. Um, and then I'm going to set this one over here. So I just got that right here for right now. Hey, people. <laughs> My son is saying hi. Ain't nobody thinking about you. So I'm just going to, and I'm holding the camera now because I took my stand my tripod upstairs so i'm just holding my camera so i'm gonna have to scrub it off camera once i finish and get everything scrubbed and clear and clean then i'll show you what they all look like but you already know yeah and trust me y'all y'all if y'all was here you would not want to be in this area right now that 
is Vinegar and it is Stanky. <laughs> this is my business channel and you are all in my video. That's my son. If you want to know more about him and his crazy self, we Go have... Go to Caden Plays. No, they can find us on our personal channel. We do have a personal family channel where we do all sorts of fun things. So he's waiting for me to be quiet so that way he can go back to his YouTube. But in the meantime, this is what I'm doing and I'm getting ready to water slide the first one that is ready. So there you have it. You can remove permanent sublimation ink using the apple cider vinegar or the white vinegar method. Either one will do the trick, but it seems like the white vinegar is much stronger and works much faster. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and redo these mugs using the water slide method because you cannot resupplimate. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.